With so much bad news around these days, many of you might feel it's a fairly gloomy festive season this year. Well, let me hold the bus for a minute and introduce you to Jeremy Vokes. Now, when Jeremy says he's putting up the decorations, you're going to have to brace yourselves. And, Jeremy, and, of course, the better half as well, Mandy, we should not forget, of course. Um, I think, guys, it's, it's fair to say Christmas has become rather a special time of year for you both, isn't it? Oh, it certainly yes. has, yes. Yeah, drags on for a few months now, actually. So, um, but yeah, we love doing it, so. Drags on for a few months. We, viewers will be wondering why. Well, let me show you why, guys. If we just take a little look at the lights display uh, that we have, it is a thing of beauty, amazement, and some incredible <laughs> size. I heard 150,000 bulbs, perhaps, uh, used in this. Uh, do you have a more accurate and up-to-date figure? No, we actually, we never really thought about how sort of big it was, but when we were asked the other day, I guessed at 40,000, and I thought, no, it can't be anything, because I know there's one tree that's got 10,000 on it. So uh, I spent a day adding them all up, and we got just short of 150,000, so. Um, Mandy, who is the driving force behind all of this? I'm just wondering whether it's the long-suffering wife that's, that, that's tolerating the husband, or, are you, or is you as bad as he is? Oh, no, no, it's all him. It's all him. <laughs> I'm just a gopher. I'm just a gopher. <laughs> Jeremy, take us back to the beginning. How on earth did you get started on this quest to, to be well, the, the only kind of home in England visible from space? It, um, we just started, when we moved the house, we were putting a new roof on it. There was some scaffolding on the front and we just put a, bit, a few lights on it for the kids as a bit of a joke. And it just sort of went slightly bigger each year. And then nine years ago, we started fundraising for the NSPCC and that sort of gave us a licence to... Uh, well, give me a licence to do a little bit more then. And, it, and it's just sort of grown every year. How, how long does it take to get this display up and running? It's, it's not a couple of days. It's not a weekend job for you, I'm presuming. <laughs> no, we start in uh, October, getting the garden ready, putting frames up and that sort of thing. And then the lights start going up in uh, November and it took 26 full days. I'll take a fortnight off work in November. Um, <laughs> and then we spend, well, they're up till 12th night, so we keep them going and running. And then we start taking them down and I aim to have them all packed away by Easter. Uh, by Easter? Fantastic. <laughs> Mandy, I don't know why yeah. you're smiling. I'm, I'm going to ask you directly. <laughs> Do you not have any neighbours? No, no, good, we don't. Good, please. But <laughs> you do presumably ha you do presumably have an energy provider. I'm wondering how the bill's looking. Well, they rub their hands, I think. <laughs> it's well, we use. Yeah, it's something we're conscious of, and uh, we do use a supplier that's 100% renewable. So brilliant. Um, that sort of makes it feel a bit a bit better. And we're switching them all over to LEDs now as well. So it's you know it uses a lot less now. Yeah, fantastic. Um, is it true? that the RAF use your house uh, during the festive period as a navigation beacon? Yes, somebody uh, bumped into <laughs> us at the local show and they said that a pilot had told them to tell us that um, they, through December, they love it because it's easy, it stands out. Um, they tried using Blackpool, but they kept getting lost. <laughs> so uh, they use ours now. <laughs> um, just just on, on, on a slightly serious note, and looking at the pictures, I'm sure I saw uh, a, a rainbow um, put up there. You're, you're kind of reflecting the year that we've had, I'm presuming, in, in the decorations. Yes, yes, Jeremy and our daughter Jess, they uh, painstakingly made that themselves. So, uh, yeah, it was very good for the NHS and key workers. Thought it was a good thing to do. Yeah, I, I don't think you guys will be alone in going slightly over the top this year in terms of Christmas. People have been, you know, stuck in their houses for extended periods of time. We've all had a little wobble from time to time, I'm sure. Um, but displays like this, I mean, obviously the planning is great, the charitable donations even better. But just to look up and see such a sight uh, really must bring a bit of cheer, a bit of festive cheer to those that live within 10, 15, 20 miles of you. Yeah, we, we weren't really sure when we sort of started whether we were going to be able to do it this year or not, but because we had to start back in October, we made a start and we got so much encouragement from all the locals walking past. They were saying how pleased they were 
because we took a year off last year. We didn't do it last year, so we've just brought it back to cheer everybody up for the because of the bad year they've had. Um, and yeah, I mean, people are saying that you know they can safely bring their grandparents, etc., can drive past um, and just stop in the car and look, and it's just cheering everybody up. So. Um, just one last word, and it has to go to Mandy, I'm afraid, who has uh, been remarkable, not just during this interview, but perhaps over the past <laughs> 20 years uh, that you've been doing this. I mean, Mandy, do you see it stopping anytime soon? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't know. It's up to him. <laughs> we, might, we might have to do it every couple of years rather than every year, I think, but we'll see. Yeah, I, I think, Jeremy, reading between the lines there, you know, I think Mandy is keeping this one under review, very much like a government <laughs> minister on the programme this morning, keeping her... Well, exactly, yes, <laughs> yes, you have to be cautious, make promises you can't keep. <laughs> uh, well, it's been an absolute pleasure to chat to you both. Uh, Mandy, Jeremy, lovely to have you on the programme, and, uh, well, have a very nice Christmas when it comes. Thank you. Thank you.